So what I'm going to do instead is really focus on the idea of how do you detect that you have an injury. Everyone thinks that an injury is pain. Everyone says, oh, it doesn't hurt, so I don't have a problem. That's completely wrong. Okay? It's not that pain is not an indicator, but it's one of many indicators. You've got so many different things that tell you when you're injured, and if you know how to listen to it, then you know that you need to address it, and you need to treat it right away. Because the longer something progresses, the worse it gets, right? Kind of makes sense? So, basically, when you are injured, there's only two responses your body can have. One of them is it will heal it. Most of the time, that's what our body does. Our bodies are amazing machines. They can take a lot of force. You can <laughs> throw your body on the floor several times and you can heal from it. Okay? That's cool. That's great. But there are times where your body cannot heal and instead it compensates. The compensation is never as good as the original. So, for instance, if you're doing Kong Vault here, suddenly, you know, you've injured a shoulder or something. You're not going to be able to put the weight on that shoulder, so instead you put more weight on your other shoulder. You start tilting your body, you start clipping your toes or something. That happens a lot. So, in that situation, if you're compensating, that usually is a, one of the first signals that you're going to want to pay attention to when you're, you know, practicing, just to know that you're injured. Because a lot of you may not even realize it. If you see your body kind of tilting the side while you're doing a Kong, someone points it out to you, Think about that. Think if maybe you actually injured something. Uh, so, if we're going to heal, you're gonna, your body's going to need the proper resources to heal. In general, they're right here. You basically need time, you need the proper nutrition, and you need the proper, uh, proper conditioning in order to heal from an injury. Okay? That would be the ideal circumstance. Uh, we're not going to spend, well, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future as well. Uh, if you do heal, your body's going to get stronger. It's just like tearing a muscle when you weight lift, right? You'll be able to lift more next time. But if you compensate, if you're compensating, you're getting weaker over time. Does that make sense? Is that pretty straightforward? Because if you're compensating, you're not doing everything in the proper biomechanics. Okay, so this is what I call the common sense chart. This is kind of explaining what I just told you. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you get an injury, either you stop the activity or you alter the activity, okay? And then you either heal or you do not heal, and then you either get stronger or you get weaker. I know it seems basic, but here's why I mention it, because this is what I see so often. Uh, some of you will not be able to read this, so I'll read it for you. There's a tresseur who throws a side flip, okay? He lands badly, he sprains an ankle, and he stands up and goes, I'm fine. And to prove that he's fine, he goes and throws a side flip again. Just to show everyone else, yeah, it looked like a bad landing, but I'm totally cool. Okay? So, now his ankle's hurting even more. Besides the original injury, he went and traumatized it again. So he ends up sitting around, chatting, you know, talking to people how he's fine, how he's cool, and he just wants to sit out and talk about his side flips. So. By the end of the day, he may be limping, he may not be, uh, or it may be the next morning. But in general, once he starts feeling better, something happens. In this case, a uh, hot girl. Okay? Some girl's walking by and he's like, hey, I gotta throw my side flip. It's gonna impress her. Even though my ankle, well, it's feeling cool. You know, it'll do fine. So he goes and throws the side flip. And it destroys it. It hurts so darn bad. Okay? But it was worth it. Because he got her number, or, you know, he, uh, it was worth it because he said so. Okay, so in this situation, um, three weeks later, he should have healed by that point. But he isn't. He hasn't healed. Because basically what's happened is he's re-traumatized over and over. Your body was not given the time it needed to heal. Okay? And that happens to us, I would bet you, bet you like every one of you have done this, where... You perform, you practice, regardless of the injury. And you know you shouldn't. You know you shouldn't be doing something, but it's so exciting when you're a gym, you know? You see all the bars, you see people coming up with new tricks, and you're like, hey, just this once, okay? So, don't do that, that's dumb. That's why we go to the common sense chart. Okay, anyway, so what typically happens is the tresseur ends up going online, he starts doing a whole bunch of research. He's like, what is wrong with me? This ankle, if it was a sprained ankle, it should have healed. Why isn't it healing? It's been three weeks. 
he doesn't remember the fact that he's injured it, you know, two, three times since again and again and made it worse. Uh, so then he assumes, hey, it's a fracture. Uh, no, it's a tumor. I'm dying. Right? You get all this self diagnosis people, they get all psychologically messed up. And so now they're not doing anything at all. They're not even doing walking around. They're just sitting at home playing video games because they're all depressed that they're injured. Make sense? Is this familiar to you guys? Hopefully. <laughs> so sooner or later, the guy gets back on his feet and he's like, well, I can't actually be on my feet, so I'm going to get on my hands all day. Or I'm going to alter, you know, start exercising other stuff. And then he injures that thing. And <laughs> so that's the typical story that I get.